Anselm Kiefer's exhibition at London's Royal Academy of Arts showcases more than 40 years of his exceptional career. The exhibition opens in the courtyard with two new works dedicated to the Russian futurist poet and writer Velimir Klebnikov. Huge vitrines filled with lead ships commemorate sea battles. The exhibition proper begins with photographs and paintings from the controversial Occupations and Heroic Symbols series of the late 1960s and early 70s. Kathleen Soriano, director of exhibitions at the RA and curator of this retrospective, hopes this will surprise visitors and show them something of Kiefer's character. For these works, he reenacted the Nazi salute in various locations across Europe. His aim was to confront the experiences of history rather than suppressing them, which he believed most post-war Germans did. However, his actions were not only controversial but illegal and led to accusations of his being neo-Nazi. This he was most certainly not, but references to the Nazis' fixation with blut and Boden, blood and soil, and Hitler's belief that true Germans came from the soil, abound in his work. He strongly believes that landscapes must always be guilty for what they have witnessed and what has happened on them. His ploughed, barren fields suggest references to rebirth, but his recent Morgenthau plan paintings of wheat fields are heavy in their grey and black. Despite their somberness, they pay a dark homage to one of Kiefer's artistic heroes, Vincent van Gogh. Their name is a reference to the Morgenthau Plan, aimed at demilitarising and de-industrialising Germany and turning it into a vast agricultural landscape, much like many of Kiefer's paintings attempt to do, with their troughs and excavations, scratched surfaces, ash, rubble and ruins, soil, seeds and sunflowers, symbols of self-regeneration and new life. In the heart of the galleries, Kiefer has built a site-specific installation, Ages of the World, the Erdzeit Alter, which he worked on here at the Royal Academy. Kiefer studied law because he wanted to understand the rules underpinning why we are who we are. This question runs through much of his work and, as well as being deconstructed pictorially with his thick strokes and ruined buildingscapes, it is echoed in the poetic refrains that dance across the canvases and creep out from behind images, wrapping themselves around, caressing, strangling, comforting and assaulting them. Kiefer integrates text into his works, citing liberally from literary masters of the 19th and 20th centuries, such as Oscar Wilde, Virginia Woolf and Paul Celan, as well as from the 12th century Middle High German poet Wolfram von Eschenbach. Kiefer has spoken of poems as being like boys in the sea. He is as much a wordsmith as a painter, a sculptor as much as a draftsman. He sees painting and sculpting as transcendent processes and began them as he sought a means of expression, saying, It begins in the dark after an intense experience, a shock. At first it is an urge, a pounding. You don't know what it is, but it compels you to act. Indeed, Kiefer's words embody action, impulsion and a continual questioning of what's out there.